Okay. 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 Okay, we'll just wait till he's passed. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name's Mark Kelly. Welcome to Chatoon, the show with chat and cartoon. I'm here at the Green Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I know the lady. Just get the Green Bush out of your mind. Yeah, We're here at the Green in Shepherd's Bush, and I'm here with John Landers, Hello. the greatest cartoonist in Great Britain. And we're going to meet the funniest man in Great Britain. So, let's go inside. Thanks for that. Good morning. Hey. Hi, Tim. How hey, are you? Mark, how are you? It's, uh, oh, timing. Oh. Hi, Tim, how are you? <laughs> I'm <a surprise. laughs> I haven't seen you for a couple of minutes. Very long time, please. Here's the weather. Well, well I see you were okay. in three degrees of a shade. Is there any chance of just doing that straight? Hi, Tim, good to see you. It's really great to see you as well. Hello, Tim. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Great, lovely to see you all. Two shakes and we're off. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> hey. Well, that's a nice formal cool beginning, unlike the previous text. So, I believe you're the funniest person in Britain, Tim. Uh, no, well, you've been misinformed about that. I've read your publicity material. <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> oh, my mother. Yes, my mother has, uh, has said very great things about me. Yeah, I gather you've uh, broken the record for the most jokes told in under an hour. An hour, in fact. I, I sort of, the, the, the record was an hour. So I was halfway through number 500. Oh, really? Yes, which was, uh, I said to this Scotsman, did you have uh, spots when you were a teenager? He said, acne. Oh, the previous record was 362, so actually it was... Uh, um, it was a thrilling night. Just go drawing pictures of me. Oh, that's the point of the show. Right, right. Yes, yes. So, um, yeah. your act has changed quite a bit, hasn't it? Well, I, funnily enough, when I first started, it was all kind of one-linery. Hmm. The very first time I ever did that, and they all just groaned at me, and I thought, oh, you can't do this. So then I went through a year of trying all sorts of different chatty things and stuff, and then I did a gig where I just chucked a joke in, and it just seemed to work. And, um, and so I started gravitating back towards the one-liners. And you started introducing music. I know you play drums, because um, I lived next door to you for a couple of years. <laughs> but uh, do you play with any bands or anything? I was in a band with my brother called the Flair Generation when we were in oh. our teens. And your brother, of course? Is, uh, is Jeremy Vine, yes. Right. Uh, does he come to your gigs? Yeah, he hasn't been for a little while, but he has written jokes from my act, though. Has he? Yes, he wrote this one. Um, I went to the chemist's, I walked up to the counter and I said, mm. and she gave me some lotion. I said, that's amazing. How do you understand what I just said? She said, You were actually the first person on Channel 5, apparently. I was the first man on Channel 5. Spice yeah, Girls yeah. were on first. Were well, they? It, yeah, it was the Spice Girls. So remember, they were kind of going five, I remember four, the spice three, girls, two, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah they, they were the variety of life, weren't they, those, those girls? <laughs> but um, um, so they, they sang a song, and then it went to me and Julia Bradford going, This is five from beyond the sort of hazy. You know, no one knew this point. I have to tell people <laughs> I did that show because no one could tell. So, can you remember your first joke? that I made up myself. Mm. Yeah, I went down to a local library, I said, I can't get over your books. He said, get off that shelf. Actually, I went to my local library the other day and there was a guy with a, a bull rush. I thought, that looks like a good read. Yeah. I thought we were overdue for a library check. Yeah, oh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> well spotted. Um, it's strange, isn't it? You stand in the middle of a library and go, ah! And everyone stares at you. Do the same thing on an airplane and everyone joins in. Now, what's your next question? <laughs> <laughs> Any burglar jokes? Um, well, burglar. I've got a joke about a burger. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Sorry. What was the question? Yes, no, I, went, I was working in Burger King. Andrew Lloyd Webber walked in. He said, give me two whoppers. I said, you're good looking and your musicals are great. Hey! <laughs> I'm being asked to mention cartoons. Right. So, um, any particular favourite cartoonist? Obviously, apart from, from John sitting there, um, um, who's Britain's leading cartoonist. <laughs> um, I'll tell you where, where, where I do really like cartoons, actually, is... Um, that made me laugh. Anyway, there's a, there's a lot of very funny cartoons in Private Eye. In fact, yeah. uh, in fact some of Private Eye is a bit too, a bit too clever for me. Like, I do remember actually, when I was very young, um, seeing a joke that Donald Duck did and thinking, thinking how clever it was. It was just because the first time I sort of really understood a joke. And, and it was a joke was um, how much for a cup of tea? And he said, and the guy goes ten pence. And he goes, how much for a second cup of tea? And he said, that's free. So I'll have a second cup of tea. So Tim. Yes. I believe you wrote the funniest joke on the fringe. I can remember it. Um, it was, uh, I've just been on a once in a lifetime holiday. I tell you what, never again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tim, I think it's time to show you the cartoon. Oh, and here it is. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. <laughs> and a few more superlatives. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm liking the fact that you, you give my hair a real kind of golden hue. 
and uh, and you've done your best there, which is what I'm constantly doing every day. I look in the mirror. <laughs> Julia Bradbury will uh, will love the fact that you portrayed her as Miss Marple. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a piano. That is a piano, yeah. Oh, that's great. And on that note. <laughs>